The Pine River Fish Passage Project is located on the beautiful Pine River in Crow Wing County, downstream of the United States Army Corps of Engineers Dam near Cross Lake, Minnesota, and upstream of Big Pine Lake. The existing rock dam was constructed in 1970 to maintain desirable water levels for Big Pine Lake. Nearby, homeowners had experienced extreme fluctuations in water levels, with peak levels causing flooding of properties and low levels rendering Big Pine Lake unusable for recreational activities. Over the years, the existing rock dam has had numerous breaches eroding the east bank, requiring expensive work to maintain the pool elevation of Big Pine Lake. Existing conditions called for a new plan. With the help of engineers and the project partners, a design was formed. The design is a rock riffle structure that includes a series of rock weirs and pools. The weirs control the elevation of Big Pine Lake upstream. Each weir was constructed with giant footer boulders, slightly smaller cross weir boulders, channel rock, rip wrap stones, and filler material. A 21-foot wide spillway through each weir will maintain one foot deep water through the riffle structure for fish passage. Between each weir, a minimum two foot deep pool would be provided to create resting areas for fish moving through the rock riffle structures. The river was diverted from work areas using sheet piling located along upstream edge of Weir 6. Also, a series of box culverts were used along the west bank of the river to temporarily divert flow and provide access for equipment to construction areas. Shown here is construction of weir number six, from culvert diversion to the east as sheet pile is completed. You can see here the flow has been diverted entirely to box culvert diversion as construction of weirs number six and five continue from west to east. our view to the southwest corner of the project area to watch construction of weirs number three and four from east to west. Continued construction on weirs number two, three, four, and five from east to west while constructing an additional diversion levee immediately east of box culverts, minimizing the river flow in the work area. Now the work pushes onto the east side, creating a connection to the floodplain. At the same time, construction of rock riprap stream bank protection is constructed along the east bank. Construction continues from the west diversion levee previously constructed to the west bank. As the weirs are constructed and approved, the diversion levy is removed. At this point, weirs number two through five are completed. You can see the river is flowing nicely over the new rock riffle structure. As the project wraps up, public access stairs to the river are built. Here's an aerial glance at the completed project and a look at an aerial shot of the before and after photos. All told, the project required 446 of the 36-inch diameter weir boulders, 313 of the larger 48-inch diameter footer boulders, 6,000 cubic yards of other various sized rock, 900 cubic yards of borrow material for the levee. The materials hauled to the site required about 400 dump truck loads. The project took about three months to complete with a final total construction cost around $960,000.
A huge thank you goes out to all the project partners. This project would not have been completed without the cooperation and input of many. Funding provided from the Outdoor Heritage Fund as part of the Clean Water, Land, and Legacy Amendment.